So what do you do to resolve that feeling? This commenter is asking about, like, when you start feeling that burnout, what can you do to mitigate or undo some of that? Uh, this is in response to a video where I talked about sort of like uh, my own experiencing with burnout as a software developer and how I ended up taking like a year and a half off of work. Um, I realized that's not a viable solution. Um, I also realized that for myself that this isn't viable. I have to figure out a way to do this. So the idea here is when you find yourself procrastinating, for me, it's when I'm procrastinating on a project at work that I know I need to do. Um, doesn't mean I'm not working. It means that I'll find other things to do. So I'll still be doing work. People will still be happy with my output. I'm still getting things done, but I'm putting off the main thing that I know needs to get done for some reason. What I have to do when I start feeling that way is I have to investigate why. Like I have to look internally and be like, do I not feel like I can iterate on this? Do I feel like I have to talk to maybe a team or something that I don't really want to talk to or just know that'll be like, it'll be meetings and I try to avoid meetings if I can. Um, I have to figure out where that's coming from or is it more personal than that? Is it not work related? And is it just that I'm feeling creative? Because another thing I've talked about on my channel is understanding how you relax and how you work. It's kind of a weird thing to talk about. I don't have the best language for it, but I know like... Um, I go through phases where I'll be really into something for like three to six months and it'll change. So like I'll be really into programming for three to six months and then I'll kind of like go over to music and I'll be very creative for like those three to six months. I'll still do programming and I still do music when I'm in a programming mindset, but like one thing will be taking the lead. So for those three to six months, I will be in programming mode. I'll still get music done, but I'll be in programming mode. And then I'll sometimes like jump over like there's like a third mode, which is like usually just playing video games or kind of just hanging out, relaxing, like I would say... I don't know, just, just kind of not doing anything, not even worrying about productivity, if that makes sense. Uh, that is how I experience the world. Um, I think that people do it differently. Like I have some friends where they go through phases, but their phases seem to last like two to three weeks. Mine are like three to six months. Um, so yeah, again, I wish I had better language to talk about this stuff, but basically like take the time to figure out how you work and then, you know, don't beat yourself up if you really can't get yourself in the mindset. If it's your job and it's a responsibility that has to get done, don't be afraid to talk to a manager or someone that can help you in this situation. But my point is like, sometimes you got to get the work done and your heart might just not be in it. And it's like, hey, you know, like that is what it is. Um, but there's only so many times you can, it is what it is until you will hit that massive burnout wall, at least in my experience. So, you know, a couple times you have to power through things. Hey, that's fine. We're all human. We have to. But if you find yourself doing it more often than not, then that's going to lead to something bad. You got to find a way to deal with that yourself.